Hi guys. Um, I wanted to do a video on the ETF and what it means uh, to Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, everybody's been weighing in this or that. And a lot of them really haven't been uh, talking about really the core uh, principles of what it means or, or what it could mean for the Bitcoin uh, going on in the future or even present. Um, one person that did talk about it today is Chris Coney at the Cryptoverse. If you are not subscribed to him, go over and subscribe to him. Uh, he puts out a video each day. His videos are, are uh, really awesome. Uh, he takes the top story of the day uh, that he thinks is the top uh, and he talks about it. Um, he also gives you the whoever's the biggest uh, winner and loser of the day. Um, he's been keeping track of SegWit uh, and integration into Bitcoin. So it's a it's a good information channel. Um, also, if you're you know you guys uh, uh, check out his uh, his website, the Cryptoversity. Um, and he has a great um, course that you can take for $50. It's the triang triangle, I believe it's called the triangle of, um, let me look here. I should add this preloaded and I'm just kind of doing, doing this a little bit uh, imprompt. And he don't have it in his uh, thing. This is the video I want you to, to, to watch. I want, I'd like, everyone to watch this uh, greed and fear the ETF um, I'm not gonna play it right now and uh, oh, here we go here's the cryptoversity podcast he does every day um, and he does uh, all kinds of stuff right here he has and here uh, check out this right here uh, cryptoversity.com courses and let me open that and he's he's got some really good courses that he teaches you um, about Bitcoin and, and stuff this is a really good one if you're new to to uh, Bitcoin this is awesome. Uh, the Secrets of the Bitcoin Triangle. Uh, it's $49. And he actually refunds you um, $12 worth of Bitcoin into your own uh, wallet. It, he teaches you the secure wallets and, and how to set them up in this. And then once you've set it up, um, you can go and get twelve dollars worth of Bitcoin back from him which is really cool and I know a lot of my subs are starting to get into trading and um, I, one of his videos recently he's saying that he's he's gonna be doing a uh, basics of trading on how to, how to safely make trades um, a course for that so um, keep your eye out for that as well anyway so let's go back check out this right here okay this video right here uh, how Bitcoin's traders are pre preparing for uh, tomorrow's SEC ETF decision so um, I'll go back so you can go to the top here and you can see his page while I talk about this so my thoughts on the ETF um, as far as it passing and not passing, my thoughts are it's, we're not going to hear anything from the SEC. Nothing. They don't want to stick their neck out and saying yes. And they also don't want the hatred from saying no. So I think what's going to happen is they're just going to let the clock run out on it. Okay. Um, thus, on Monday, um, basically, if they let the clock run out, it's an approval by default. It, so 
I believe that's what's going to happen. They're just going to let the clock run out. They haven't. They actually, um, some of the people in, that are involved in that S, uh, SEC uh, higher up have actually said um, some things positive about Bitcoin. So I really think it's going to pass, but it's going to pass by default. Um, and we'll know about that on Monday. It'll be the biggest news. Uh, Bitcoin will go up. That's my thoughts. So let's get on the let's get on to the the pass or not pass and and what that means. So if if it's not pass, I think you know we're going to see a sell off of uh, Bitcoin. Um, but I don't think it's going to be um, a massive sell off unless we start seeing um, an uncontrollable drop. Um, I know that China. I seen some news that China is uh, got a on their stop on on pulling your money out of crypto right now, or the the, the exchanges. We're seeing that uh, they they want to wait until they something happens on this. Um, so in China, they you may see a bunch of people pulling out of China, and that's a lot of money over there. So it could very well go down quite a bit. Um, but I don't. I wouldn't think that it's going to go um, less than a thousand, um, but I would not, uh, unless unless we see, you know, a uncontrollable uh, pull out of Bitcoin through uh, stop losses on the on the uh, exchanges. That's that's the part where where uh, you know it could get really bad. Is is if people are doing uh, stop losses. Uh, it could it could create a snowball and take Bitcoin down really low. Um, I'm not going to sell my Bitcoin. I'm holding on to it. I understand the fundamentals of Bitcoin uh, and the long term of it. So I'm not worried about that. So let's talk about if it passes. If it passes, what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of money dumped into into Bitcoin. Um, and and. This is good for right now. Um, you know, of course, the Bitcoin Bitcoin's going to go way up in value. Um, what I expect is it probably going. You're seeing a huge increase in in Bitcoin um, in the short term, and then a massive pullback after a little while. Um, so, so you'll see huge gains of it going up. As everyone dumps their money in, and then a massive pullback. Um, what I expect during that pullback is actually, you know, uh, when you see something like this and it's really going to go mainstream, you're going to really see um, a lot of fraud come out. Um, you're going to see a lot of people getting in it that don't understand personal responsibility, that you're responsible for your for storing your own Bitcoin responsibly. Um, the the ETF, what that is, is is that's a way for people to invest in Bitcoin and not be responsible for it. Other people are responsible for it. And uh, we already see that in putting your money in exchanges. Um, uh, some wallets are like that. So in, in essence, it's we already have that. It's a lazy form of uh, investing, is what, the way I see it. Um, the only... Uh, the only difference in it is, is uh, it's kind of like it's a it's a government approved way, where we're kind of on the fringes when we go to over to the exchange and buy buy it and hold it or or whatever. So, um, along with that, we're gonna see you know you know all the fraud. Um, scams happening. So, oh, send your Bitcoin here, and you get this more. You know, get this or that, and uh, to get more Bitcoin and and stuff. So, I expect a lot of fraud happening. I expect a lot of people not, you know, not knowing much about the ETF or how to get into it or anything like that. I will not get into the ETF. I'm I'm not investing that way. I'm investing in real Bitcoin. It's the difference between having stocks in, in gold and having real gold in your hands. Um, but we're going to see a lot of people that, oh yeah, Bitcoin. 
okay and they're gonna go over and get it and they're not gonna be responsible and hold their Bitcoin in the right way um, we're gonna see them losing Bitcoin through through just incompetence in using the technology safely uh, with their wallets not uh, knowing how to send it not knowing how to store it um, so we're gonna see a lot of people that happening and uh, and I'm sure we're gonna see on the news you know the, the mainstream media hates Bitcoin we all know that and uh, every chance they get they're going to trash Bitcoin so we're gonna see it on the news in you know mainstream media on their websites oh you know people are losing their Bitcoin you know the wallet this doesn't work that one doesn't work you know if uh, an exchange gets hacked they're always saying that all oh, Bitcoin got hacked when it, it wasn't the Bitcoin it was the exchange they're just trying to kill Bitcoin so we're gonna see that and that's that's when we see the pullback I think that's when we're gonna see most of this this uh, news coming out so and then uh, but the pullback is just gonna be temporary you know it's it's gonna pull back I expect it to be quite a large drop when the pullback ha happens it you know um, I don't think it's gonna pull back if you know down to where it is right now but it is gonna be significant um, and it might be enough to get a, peop a lot of people that speculated getting into it because of the news uh, to get out of it and stay out of it I, I you know I'm not a I'm not the Oracle of Bitcoin so I, I don't know exactly what the future holds I'm just um, speculating on on the way I feel and don't use my you know what I'm saying is is uh, trading advice or financial advice this is purely my thoughts um, I also wanted to talk about the future of Bitcoin um, as in regards to the ETF as far as the long term um, as far as the long term in in four years from now um, I really think that this uh, ETF whether it gets passed or it doesn't pass it, it ain't gonna mean nothing it's uh, it's it's not gonna mean anything to the price um, I I truly believe that the price is gonna be what it's gonna be in four or five years regardless of any uh, Winklevoss ETF that happens or doesn't happen um, so I think it's a lot of hype right now for Bitcoin um, that really is means nothing in the future so that's that's what I wanted to to talk to you guys about um, on that and uh, I also um, just a quick update um, as far as uh, Genesis mining um, you know a lot of guys are really excited because they added in uh, um, ether okay and uh, this morning I actually um, emailed Genesis and talked to them about uh, ether mining uh, as far as uh, you know if, if what you got to understand is uh, Ethereum is uh, planning to go to a proof of stake later this year, which means that you cannot mine it. It's unminable at that point. Um, and I talked to them about that, and they said that at that at that time they would switch it over to whatever is the most profitable coin. So um, I'll do another video on that. Um, I'm going to do a whole video. Um, I think on uh, Ether and Genesis um, I'm I uh, am not going to be buying any Ether mining on Genesis I have uh, several mining rigs I, I mine Ether every day I have for uh, what eight months now nine months uh, a long time so I don't plan on doing it this route um, anyway so you guys that's uh, go check out this uh, the cryptoverse subscribe to his channel because it really is an awesome channel and uh, check this particular video out greed versus fear ETF 
and like I said um, it would definitely be good for you to check out um, his courses um, if you're fairly new to Bitcoin I would highly recommend you um, go to his uh, website and subscribe or you know or, and get the course that he has the the Bitcoin triangle because um, it's gonna do nothing but help you so anyway you have a good day